Mukhtar Robos is perhaps the most famous defection from Al-Shabaab since its creation in 2001. The only founding member of Al-Shabaab alive today, Robos served as the armed group's deputy leader until 2013. As Al-Shabaab spokesman, Robo was the public face of a largely faceless organization. We shall welcome any Muslim from any part of the world who wants to join us. We will allow him to wed our daughters and share our farms. Many have already died fighting our cause, and many others are here with us. A power struggle within Al-Shabaab's leadership and a purge on those opposed to the views of then-leader Ahmed Abdi Ghudani led Robo to splinter from the group in 2013. He has been hiding in southwestern Somalia with his forces since then. Robo was declared a wanted terrorist by the United States in 2012. Last June, Washington rescinded that decision and lifted a $5 million bounty on his head. Soon after, Al-Shabaab fighters started attacking his bases. His defection is seen as a big gain for the Somali government. In recent years, African Union peacekeepers, Somali government troops and American air power have taken the war to Al-Shabaab deep in its rural strongholds. Analysts are now questioning how effective this strategy has been. Fighting the group with uh, a gun barrel only will not solve the problem. You need a holistic approach like addressing the grievances of some communities who sought the protection of Al-Shabaab. And when you do side by side addressing those grievances and the military operations, then you can find a solution to the problem. Despite losing all their urban strongholds, Al-Shabaab fighters are proving resilient in the face of superior firepower. They've continued to carry out frequent attacks against Somali government forces and African Union peacekeepers. These defections are a setback for the group, but the Somali government is yet to use the high-profile defectors to gain the upper hand in the fight against Al-Shabaab. Mohamed Ado, Al Jazeera, Nairobi.